Okay, welcome. I'm uh, well, I've been Microsoft Flight Simulator enthusiast for quite a few years now. Got myself a PPL license some years back, and uh, well, that's mega expensive anyway. Right, so what am I going to do today? Well, basically, it's all about uh, Flyby Wires 320 jet compared with. Microsoft Flight Sims base one. Well, the buttons work in one and half the buttons don't work in the other. So, yes, this is really nice and realistic. And, you know, it takes a little bit of getting used to loads of YouTube videos on how to set up the MC, whatever you call it, the flight computer. Anyway, that's what I'm going to call it. So most of them say, um, blah 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 go to sim brief blah 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 get this get that get this and get that and program it in and then take off not very realistic because if you just do what they say which is basically um selected departure airport and no arrival airport and then go into the sim program set up your plane basically and take off when you talk to air traffic control nobody gives nobody talks to you very very unrealistic but ideal obviously if you are working on a what they call it vat sim or whatever you know one of these online flying companies so this is the way i just thought i'd share this with you uh, this is how i link the two in together so if we just quickly switch to uh oh, my browser and here we have a sim brief it's free you have to sign up to navi navigraft um don't do any subscriptions on navigraft but just make a navigraph account and then you've got to sign in through navigraph so i've already generated a flight to cut some time down i can make you a uh, whether it's, it's on youtube how to how to use sim brief so we're easyjet 6490 aircraft a20n because there is a proper way of putting in the flyby wire uh, frame jet in going from Jersey just a quick hop from Jersey up to South End uh, alternate is EGUN and uh, this is the flight plan so you can see the routing is runway 26 coming in on runway 23 the approach is Neville 1S and uh, bnx 5a so sometimes the routing that you get from sim brief some of the waypoints aren't actually in microsoft sim so you can program these in but then you can't talk to air traffic control so we're gonna jiggle about and make the best of both worlds if you get what i mean so let's um just set up where we're going for, coming from so we're coming from jersey and uh, we're going to come out of uh quite a large ramp should we come out of 17 they're over there that's okay so we come out here and then we go along here to to two six uh and then we're going to go arrival will be eg mc south end and there we have our route nowhere near enough that's a direct route gps nothing to do with uh, flight sim <laughs> Uh, or sim brief as it were so we now go low altitudes i set 23,000 feet well this is it you can fly at 23,000 feet but air traffic control will probably give us different altitudes and then we have to jiggle about a little bit so we met here again if you remember the uh sim brief page where we bend first. the outbound is that one and the inbound is that one so Benzy X, so is Benzy X on here? See, I can't see a Benzy X, can you? No. So we're coming out of 26, runway 26. So we're going to have the Benzy 515, which gives us this little bit here added on. Um, let's go back again, make sure it wasn't. Oh, it's Benzy 5. What am I talking about? So Benzy 5A, eh? that's there. And is the other one there? Let's have a look. There are Nevis, Nevis 1S all, which bring us around that way, in and in. Um, 
Nevis one S Neville one S is what we're looking for. So that's Neville one S, and it says all. But is there one for twenty six? No, there's not. So Nevis one A for all. Then we we'll do that. So that's that. Uh, approach will be ILS runway two three, and that's it. Then we're good to go. So if you now look, if we zoom in, really a long way in, you can see we're going to come up there and here come in and straight in on two three it's not a problem is it so let's go fly okay well here we are at good old sunny jersey i've uh well, that's a bit of a bug. it's about 10 o'clock 12 o'clock midday i think it is i've left it daytime and i've left the weather as being calm so that we don't have too many challenges while I'm talking. So, yes, so we got a quick start up of the magic machine. So, we've got a battery powered tablet, so we fire up the tablet by clicking on that. We will now come up here, go on to battery power, which has not got a lot of power, so it will give us bleeps. There we go. Set up the ADIRS. And we will come back to my tablet, and there you can see import from Simbrief. Now, on Simbrief, you, um, to it to get it to import, let me just flick back quickly. To get it to import, you need to click on this one at the top here. We can't get up. Uh, print preview for PDF. Don't download it. Just have that page open, and it will go in to your Simbrief. So. It's not imported yet, so we're going to import data from Simbrief, and there we go. It's as simple as that. So anyway, let's get some power before our batteries go to pop. And we jump outside, and we can see we might not get stairs or anything like that here. So come on, get the power supply on my old mucker, and we can get going. All depends on the airport as to what you can get your hands on. So here we go. I probably might not even get be able to get a tow tug in visual, but it, I will get a pushback, but it won't be a tow tug. So cables on. Now so let's get back inside and get the external power on. There we go. External power's on, and we can put our nav lights on. We get the sound effects of lovely uh, air conditioning and everything. A strobe on automatic. Seatbelt lights on, no smoking automatic, arm the doors, oxygen we need, turn on the fuel pumps, test the fire alarms, then come down to the centre dashboard here, click on the, I think it's I can't remember what that is. Oh, hang on. Didn't want to do that. Oh dear. Um, see, everything moves, which is good. The PWS system. And then we got to put the transponder into standby. TA and RA. Or I get TA only up here. We got to wait for this lot to warm up, fire up, so we can now brighten them a little bit. Brighten all our dials for when. That's the floodlights onto the dashboard, we don't really need them on at the moment. Brighten up the middle ones there, come up to the top here. And you can brighten these ones up a bit if you wanted to. Adjust the uh, heat if you want to adjust the heat. Um, not that you notice any difference. Slightly adjust the brightness of this display. And you've also got floodlights on there. We've got flight directors on already. Um, and this is where the difference is. We will come to my co-pilot. Everything's turned off. So, come back to So, let's see if we can get the cargo door will open. Can we get a baggage truck? Are we going to have one? No, not at this airport. So, we're, we're going to cancel that. We're not going to worry about running through all that lot. That's plenty of this on fuel so it will download fuel from there we go from Simbrief we can have it real time world so we've got one more minute yet for that to go 
right so this is where we get all our so our block fuel is 4188 for this trip so we come down to and we can make it a bit brighter so we're on the ATSU first GPS is lost because it's not all fired up yet in it and press and we have all our flight numbers and that to fill in well if you just hit this button here it will import it so we've got pages one or two so we go to the next page with one of these arrows there we go auto land and all the rest we don't seem to have to worry about so we go back to data now we don't have to worry about anything in there in it a so we got flight number and all the rest of it to be put in yeah we can clear that primary loss there so we've got more than one page here so we go to this page here we got the block fuel which i said was four what was it four eight four one eight eight so block fuel is four one point eight that goes in there this will be self calculated there we go I'm clicking it twice performance will be dealt with in a minute we're going to take off with flaps 2 today put flaps 2 in there next phase so we need some ATIS information so this that so the Q&H will be the standard 2992 because the weather is oh 29.92 because the weather is just normal the Q&H can go in there so we can now go to Microsoft ground and ATIS Jersey uh, Airport Information Oscar 1100 Zulu Wind calm Visibility Niner Sky condition clear Temperature 15 15 Dew point 1 tree QNH 2 Niner Decimal Niner 2 ILS runway 26 in use Landing and departing runway 26 so we're going to have our transition altitude at 10,000 today. Advice controller on initial contact, you have Oscar. And we have Oscar, okay. And winds were... Wind calm. Visibility, niner. Sky condition, clear. That's bloody pain in the house, isn't it? So there's no bloody wind whatsoever. So we're just going to go for... One... Uh, we're going to go 2-6 runway, runway 2-6 Landing so we can have it winds be in 0-8 sorry doing it wrong here yeah. there be uh, just calm so we go 0 winds yeah, sorry, 008. Uh, temperature 15 at 2.13. Zero 05, shall we? Niner, two. ILS runway there we go. In use. Winds are in. Right, up flight. ground services. Program. Flight plan, as you can see. So we've got EGN and departure and you can put it in yourself but it's already done it because we did it using Microsoft but if you don't use Microsoft then you have to select it all yourself but you just double check it's so all there and arrival is 2 free by Nevis 1 Radio nav. Oh, that's in one one. No, it's not. It's one 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 thirty. One 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 thirty five, according to one 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 thirty five. So maybe. Never mind. Let's see what happens. One 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 dash thirty five. Invalid format. What? Okay. Oh, 
not going to leave that in there, but it should be 111. These things do go a bit buggy on you sometimes. 11135. Perhaps it doesn't like 11135. Yep, yeah, well, we're going, to we're going to go with Microsoft. Sometimes it, Microsoft is right. So we've got the cargo door still open, so we need to shut that bugger up. Fuel is done, I'm sure. Right. Uh, oh, sorry. Services. Yeah, shut the door. Right. So. Let's get back to the programming this bugger. Turn up those a little bit if we like. Looks like I've got a bit of a bug here. Yeah. Door is closing, that's alright. <sighs> uh, fuel. Predicted. I still haven't managed to get the flight number put in yet. It will. Uh, cost index 3 uh, cost index will be 38 for this trip cruising altitude we wanted 25,000 feet that's the temperature for me already and I should get the flight number to go in on my own in a minute once I've worked it out Ah, uh, it's one of these here somewhere. Unless in brief. Ah, oh, it probably doesn't recognise it easy. I've probably put the wrong. Oh, I know what I've done. I've put the wrong. Oh, easy. Six, four, nine, zero. Will it take that? It will do. Yeah, I don't think I'll use the right letters in the sim brief but hey ho that's that done no flight plans done no discontinuities with it and the flight plan no everything looks good so even less problems so carry on with me if you want so we're going to get uh, IFR clearance now. In fact, actually, no, I'm not going to get the uh, APU cranked up. Uh, and of course, there's all these extras that you can do here with this uh, payload. So, how many passengers do we want? Maximum passengers. We're going to have. Uh, should we have 129? There we go, that's the weight and balance done as well. And um, we can have it fast or real time loading, we'll have it fast. So it is now loading. And you can hear people talking. Yeah, I've got no ladders, but hey ho. Okay, we our displays are up and running. So let's get our clearance. Jersey ground easy one one two three ready to copy IFR clearance to South End. Otherwise, one, one, two, this way. There we go. Twelve thousand feet. Take off runway two six climb and maintain twelve thousand feet. Departure frequency is one two zero decimal one five squawk two three five five. Easy one one two three cleared to South End Airport as filed. Take off runway 26 climb and maintain 12,000 feet. Departure on 120 decimal 15 squawk 2355. Check throttles. Easy 12355 in there. Contact ground on 121 decimal 9 or 05. Head in. We can wait until we line up if we wanted to, but we're going to make it 260. So we got music playing now. This is not the latest. I haven't played this for a while actually, I haven't used this one for a while. Speed, we want to keep our speed at 220 on initial takeoff. Could we get where we're going? You can use it or use the, the all, well I will be using auto throttle but you can use the flight there. If I lock the door it shuts all that noise out. There you go. So let's, Noise for a little while, not too much. 
Okay, so are we loaded yet? Not quite. So we're not loaded with passengers. APU is available, so we've got APU bleed on. Disconnect the external power. I'll ask him to take the external power away. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Do external power. Computer. There we go. Loading completed. I thought that's what she just said. So let's just have a look. Yep. Nobody's still moving about. Hello. There we go. So, uh, services push back will be the next thing when we get permission to taxi. So, Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, on behalf of myself, your captain, the first officer and cabin crew, I'd like to take this time to welcome you aboard our flight. We're just wrapping up some paperwork up front here and waiting to see final numbers from the ground crew, then we'll be on our way. Flight attendants will be coming through the cabin shortly with a very important safety briefing. We do ask that you give them your full, undivided attention as they review the safety operations of this Airbus aircraft. We do appreciate your business having you aboard this flight. If there's anything we do to make your flight any more enjoyable, please don't hesitate to ask. Welcome aboard. There we go. Said that without moving my lips. So, we want to request taxi. Jersey ground easy 1123 with Oscar ready to taxi IFR. Easy 1123 taxi 2 and hold short of runway 26 using taxiway Juliet Alpha Alpha 4 Alpha Alpha 3 Alpha Alpha 2 Alpha Alpha 1 cross runway 26 Golf. Contact tower on 125 decimal 205 when ready. Now, the real professionals. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 26 using taxi we'll with Juliet Alpha Alpha for Alpha Alpha Tree Alpha Alpha 2 Alpha Alpha 1 cross runway 26 Golf Easy 112 Tree For... as for your VAT sim uh, Navigraph they will... So you will use Navigraph charts Me, I use the good old... Uh, let's activate this system The pushback system and we're not going to get a tug, but at other airports you will get a tug. Anyway, so, uh, request a tug. And uh, it's nice actually because it saves me keep going down here for the handbrake. You can do it all from the tablet, which technically is probably not strictly feasible. So, we're looking left and right. We're ready to push back. So, we're going to push back straight for the time being take the handbrake off and let's go straight back and there we go so while we're being pushed back we can crank up the engines and with this we can actually do two at a time it doesn't have to be one and then one so we're going to fire up the engines we're going straight back at the moment we need to go a little bit to the left now and we go left a little bit left a little bit more you can see the, the difference in uh, angles and you can hear the engines firing up This is where I will now let my co-pilot take over the radio for me. You could do it. All uh, right, that do. Let's go back straight again, please. And uh, let's stop there and break on. Get rid of the tow tug for what it's worth. And go back to this. Five turns, please prepare for takeoff. All right. So we've now got a quick checklist here. There we go. That's done. All right. So we can quickly set up while we're waiting for the engines to get powered right up. Oh, well, we've got 19 on each. That's about right, actually. We can change this bottom display to engines. But oh, I've got to change it to APU. We will now turn the APU bleed off. 
and APU off and wait for that available to disappear turn the crank back again so arm speed brakes flaps 2 and maximum brakes in automatic brakes in case of an abort and then we have to take off conflict and we got cabin check take off again there we go check the cabin bing bong the cabin there we go so we'll take off pre take off checks done here no problem so let's taxi lights on keep it on the APU let the handbrake off and away we will go just a little bit of throttle easy one one two tree hold position caution other traffic yeah that'd be the bloody fire engines hold position, easy one one two tree sometimes this does it and we got to sit here for a while now could be the fire engine you tack in down to the runway. I think we've got a uh, jet behind us somewhere. Little plane, uh, where well, it was. Whoops, look where you're going. Slow it down a bit, slow it down a bit. 20 mile an hour to 30 miles an hour. Get back on the yellow line. Woo, 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 woo. Coming up to the runway threshold over here. We around we go. It's quite a nice little route. Let's get round. A little bit fast there. Rip the fucking tires off, not careful. Let's slow it down. Jersey Tower, easy one one two tree, ready for departure. Runway two six IFR to South End. There we go. Easy one one two tree. Niner, decimal niner. Landing lights on. Cleared for takeoff runway two six. I need any other Cleared lights. Cleared for takeoff runway two six. Easy one one Quick two three. Check everything's tickety boo. We've got everything tickety boo. APU is off. Switch back to the engines. Uh, we're good to go. So this, if this was the second flight of the day, we could do a rolling start, but as it's the first flight of the day, we are going to sit and rev the engines up and monitor the power settings. You can see our route here. Could have checked it with this, but there's other videos to show you how to check whether the route is right or not before you leave. So that's our current heading at the moment it's set for a straight ahead let's get this thing round whoops not stop so far like that oh get round to come oh there we go get it round slight problem with the uh, throttles there my bad not used to having the reverses. Ooh, right, so you, yeah, you got reverses without on the joystick without anything else. So shall we go? So we're heading is that we do and climb to twelve thousand feet. Oh shit! I know what I haven't done. It will probably the performance. It will kill me if I don't do. I forgot to do the uh, V speeds. That's why it helps to have a checklist. Never mind. Spot the deliberate mistake. It would have leaps at me when I left. Tried to lead the runway without doing them. Right. Let's go.
there. Can we come up off the runway please? Thank you. Okay, positive climb gear up. We'll go straight ahead for the time being. Climbing far too steep. Get back. Thank you. Auto throttles are on. Come back to auto throttle settings. Engage your autopilot. Main throttle. Yeah, okay, we'll go back. That's just a little bug. There we go. That got rid of that. So we we are on speed. I want don't want it that high at all. Flaps up. Well, speed at two hundred. That was a little bit of a bug. That was. So let's come round and get back onto our flight path. Where we're aiming for. I hit it, the plane will do it, but I don't want to go to the left. So, after takeoff checks, this arm auto brakes. Let's raise the speed to 220. 25 and we can have flaps all the way up coming into the sun seat belts on landing lights are still on that's good meant to be Wait till we get to 10,000 feet. We are climbing through 8,000 feet at the moment. We can now adjust our climb to a re more comfortable rate for passengers. There we go. So that should reduce the rate of climb a little bit. Coming up to 10,000 feet. Coming round to our track. So we will now hit. In. There we go, and we come a bit more onto our track. What we got down here? Check weight. Oh well, never mind. Forgot about that. Never mind. Perhaps I'd done it before I'd done the fuel. Yeah, probably. Not to worry. Ah, so anyway, like I say, I'm not perfect. There's Jersey at 10,800. Taxi lights off. Landing, oh, landing lights off and retracted. Seatbelt signs off. Let's start serving now. So a nice clear day. Used to have a map on this as to where we were going, but doesn't have it anymore. Or does it? What's that? And that's the overview. Uh, weather. Right, 240 now. Climb and maintain flight level 240 easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490. Okay, flight level 240. 240, and we should have the 1700 still in there. No, we haven't. So we will. Let's go to 19. So it now's 1900 vertical speed until we get to. 270 we're above 10,000 feet transition so we go to standardized pressure so 
there's the coast of France or Brest, Brittany. And we're coming up to Perch. So we could, if we were able to get, we could go direct to Benix to save a bit of time. Um, if we had air traffic control telling us to do that, but it says as planned. So we could pretend that we got permission to go straight to Benix. So if we go direct, just to show you how to do it, and go Benix, then direct. And there we go. We went out though a little bit further left. Now we can put it over to auto speed, we're above 10,000 feet. And go up to our cruising speed, about 310 knots, somewhere around there. Below 10,000 feet should be no more than 250. And landing lights on, unless you get special permission. So we're now on track cut corner a bit, there's Jersey, there's the airport there still, nice clear day, you can get rid of the coffee cups if you want, it'd be nice to have a proper Starbucks ones. But. Not much talking going on this route, quite often they're talking to me to change to this, that and the other, should have been changed to Brest at the moment, are we still to change their traffic controllers by now maybe maybe not I don't know oh uh, this is a little bit of a glitch we need Rest to get center easy echo Sierra Yankee six four nine or zero would like to change destination to South End that's it thank you easy echo bit of a glitch sometimes I don't know why that happens thank you that's what I was I thought it was a bit quiet. Never mind. Brighten up my displays. That's better. So uh, you can anticipate, right, we want 7,000 now, so if it doesn't give us 7,000, we're going to ask to we can just do it this way around, we can ask to come down by 2,000 feet, please. London Centre, Easy Echo, Sierra Yankee, 6490. Request 7,000 feet. Easy Echo, Sierra Yankee, 6490, descent and maintain 7,000 feet. Descend and maintain 7,000 feet. Keep speed not above 220 knots. Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490. So we're going to come down to 200. That's some speed brakes. Okay, what are we descending by? Not a lot. Let's increase it a little bit. There we go. Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 649 Zero, please expedite your descent 7,000 feet. Now we've got Sunny Kent. Is that the 
White Cliffs of Dover? More than likely. Yeah, that's the White Cliffs of Dover. Take a screenshot of that. Okay, coming down to 7,000 feet. Are we down to 200? We are off with the brakes. Flaps one. Twenty miles to run now, so we're going to come down to one eight zero. In fact, I think I need one seven five. up the ILS yet because we're not low enough up to the Essex coast there and down well this is all Essex down around here in South End I hope we can now have flaps three less in we're 24 miles out but hey ho can't have anything for nothing free there we go thank you going to one three zero decimal seven eight easy echo sierra yankee six four nine or zero approach easy echo sierra yankee six four nine or zero six thousand feet Check move, there we go, as planned. Nineteen miles out. We're gonna come across a bit of land into South End. about the ILS indicator at the moment because there's absolutely no way that that is accurate I hope not now we're going to turn on to our next heading 
Yeah. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect vectors visual runway to tree approach. Visual? Oh, I've got ILS. Oh well. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect vectors visual runway to tree approach. Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490. Oh dear. Is it ILS not working? Oh. Oh well. Is possible? Right, ILS went down while we were out. While we were on route in real life, could happen. So we we'll see what happens. Here we are. We're turning around now. All right, so one six five full flaps. Check full flaps. Go back up to one seventy. Okay, localizer. Let's see, we'll go back that way. Yeah, let's put the localizer on and see what happens. Localizer on. approach Could have a missed approach here. Oh, glide slope. Oh, close glide slope altitude. So, is it going to bring us down far enough and quick enough? That's the question. Pre landing checks. Armed moderate speed. Seatbelt is on. Full flaps. Might be alright, might get away with it. Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490 descent and maintain 2100 feet. Oh, there we go, 2100 feet. Descend and maintain 2100 feet, Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490. Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490 airport, is at your 11 o'clock 11 miles. Maintain present heading and altitude, report runway in sight. Maintain present heading in altitude Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490. Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490 has the runway in sight. Do you? I fucking don't. Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490, you are 10 miles northeast of South End. Descend and maintain 2,000 feet. Contact tower on 127.73. Descend and maintain 2,000 feet. Tower on 127.73 decimal seven tree Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490. Tower Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490 09 miles northeast inbound visual runway two tree approach. Easy Echo Sierra Yankee 6490 tower. QNH 29 decimal 92. Right, let's set this for go around. Visual runway two tree approach easy oh, echo no. Sierra Yankee yeah. six four nine zero go around two thousand five hundred there's a the runway oh we're miles off we're not on the glide slope localizers left let me out off yes yeah, so Sierra Yankee six four nine zero wind calm Runway, two tree. We might have to do this manually. Let's have a look. Clear to land crack. runway two tree easy echo Sierra Yankee six four nine or zero. Let's 
Auto throttles on please, thank you. Check cabin, landing gear is not down. Does help. Cabin prepare to land. One thousand. Good, so glad. Because I've ever landed one of these manually. So here we go. Now we're back on the localizer. Why the fucking hell didn't it work before? We ain't going to be dead straight, I don't think, but hey ho. Getting ready to knock off the auto throttles. I think somehow and we come ooh, 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 don't know the crew. yeah 500 we're far too kin I should go around but I'm not going we can get this we can get this a bit like landing on the aircraft pull up. yeah pull I, up. I will don't worry pull I will pull up, up. don't worry pull I am pulling up, up. Pull don't worry up. We will get on the ground, don't worry, 30, don't worry. Oh! 20. I don't. 10, just off 5. the runway. Brakes on. Pull reverse. Brass. Hit the speed down. Whew. There we go. Pressure, eh? Put some more brakes on. Anyway, there you go. That's what. Easy echo Sierra Best of both worlds. Turn next taxiway. Well, I would do, but there ain't one, so we got to turn around and back taxi. Anyway, thanks for watching.